So do you want to make fast money as a new player to Hogwarts Legacy? Well, don't worry guys, today I have you covered. Okay, so with everything in this game costing a pretty penny, you're probably wondering where you're going to get all that gold from. Now, within the later stages of the game, there's, there's much, much easier ways to make that gold. But as a new player, as a player who's probably played under 15, 20 hours into the game, you're probably struggling to make that gold. Well, today, guys, I have a few tips and tricks you can use to help you make plenty of money. Now, while I have your attention, guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want these daily Hogwarts Legacy guides, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. Okay, so money, 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 money talks. It really does. And in Hogwarts Legacy is no different. Everything just costs so much, people. So as a new player, what can you do to make good money? Well, the first thing I will mention, and I can't push this across enough, people do not dismantle or delete any of your spare armor as a new player to the game you're going to be earning an absolute ton of armor a ton of gear a ton of things you can sell and well that's exactly what you should be doing and by doing this alone guys you will earn a pretty penny now, because like i said you will be earning and receiving a ton of armor early on and well your spares you may as well get rid of and well, as a, as a, well, what's a basically a brand new player, you won't have much uh, space within your gear inventory tab. So you will be spending quite a lot of time running backwards and forwards to vendors, NPCs. But I do recommend if you're going to take this route to make money, definitely go to the Hogsmeade and sell your gear to vendors here. Now, when you unlock those Merlin trials, you can do these guys and get even more room within your gear tab to stock up on more stock to sell it on. But for the time being, you ain't got that far yet. This is one thing I can't push across enough. Don't dismantle, don't break down that gear. Definitely sell it if you don't want it. You will earn a pretty penny in doing this. Now, another thing you can use is Revilio. Revilio is a spell, one of the first ones you use. And guys, you don't understand. Walking around Hogsmeade for literally five, 10 minutes, the amount of things you find, just chests, little money bags. I mean, they're absolutely scattered everywhere this is an underrated way of earning good money and this is just hugs me alone this ain't out in the open world this isn't within uh the hogwarts castle there are chests absolutely everywhere these chests you can open up they either give you gold or they can give you gear uh, loot which you probably ain't gonna need if you do need it pull it on then sell the one you was wearing and earn that money guys this is absolutely ridiculous way i think it's a way a lot of people ain't using to earn a ton of gold do this out in the open world do this within uh, hogsmeade do this within the hogwarts castle and you will come across an absolute ton of chests ton of things you can pick up ton of things you can open up sell and make that money so yes guys definitely definitely take advantage of this now, if you are brand new to the game and you're watching this, Revelio is a uh, well on controller. It's tied to left on your D-pad. You can spam this out as much as you want. It's used to find secrets. It's used to find uh, puzzles. It's used to find chests. It's used to find everything. And well, like I said, take advantage of this, guys, and you will earn an absolute ton of that money. You really will. Another thing you can use, but it does require a spell called Disillusionment, which allows you to go invisible, is you can open certain chests, those chests with those eyes on them. You've probably come across these chests. They are all over Hogwarts Castle. They are all over Hogsmeade. And these chests give you a ton of gold. But you need Disillusionment to actually open a chest. Because if these chests see you, they will lock up and you won't be able to open them. So once you have this spell, which I'll run you through in a quick second how you actually get this, Simply activate the spell away from the chest prying eye. Simply just walk up to the chest and open it and you get 500 gold per chest. I myself run around Hogsmeade for like I said 5-10 minutes. I found literally about 8 of these chests just, just sitting around. And that's Hogsmeade alone guys. That's 4 grand. Easy money. And there are a ton of these as well as in Hogwarts Castle. Now if I do find them all eventually I will bring you a guide on them. But right now they are scattered all over the place. Well, we'll have to go back through pinpoint every location but people with Revelio you find these so easy it's unreal and many many other things now the disillusionment spell itself you unlock this in and around the 10th main quest story mission i think it's called the secrets of the restricted section where you have to use this spell for the first time in the game 
and from here on forward you have it unlocked and then you can just go around exploring finding these chests and opening them up but yes guys these are real easy ways to earn money as a or earn gold as a new player to hogwarts legacy now there are a few other methods in the game which will earn you much more money but they are late late game methods uh, i will do a guide on them i'm just putting a few more clips together so expect that video either later today or tomorrow but yes guys this is how you earn plenty of gold for a new player and well i hope the video helps you out guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more hogwarts be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.